So here we have some data about recycling. This is from the OECD, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. And I'm using Excel, Office 365 version uh, 2016, I think, to look at this. Um, there's a few things immediately obvious about this data set. It's not the largest we've ever seen, perhaps, but there are lots of countries and lots of years. There's some funny formatting decisions which may affect what we do with the data later on. Leaving all that aside for now, the most obvious problem is if I want to look at this data by scrolling around, there is a problem if I go too far. So maybe I'm looking at this bunch of numbers and I see, ah, oh, there's 65% there. That's great. They've done 65% of their waste has been recycled, but who was it and when did it happen? I can't see. Well, obviously, I could scroll up and see, oh, look, it's 2012, and I could scroll to the left and see that, oh, no, wait, where was it? Was it was it Greece? Was it Germany? Was, uh, I'm thinking it's probably Germany. They've got some high numbers here. Obviously, it would be nice if I could just look at a number and figure out where it is. Now, luckily, there is an easy way to do that, and that's what we're going to look at now. You have lots of tabs in Excel. Uh, the interesting tab we're going to look at in this case is the View tab. It has all these options to do with how you view your data just as important sometimes as what you do with your data is how you can see it and the button I'm going to use now is the freeze panes button it gives you three options if you click on this I'm going to ignore the first one for the moment you could freeze the top row or the first column the top row would be spectacularly pointless in my case here because the top row is blank I don't really care about the row because of the way they've typed the data in the first column is quite useful I'd like to be able to see these countries wherever I am in the data but actually what I want to do is freeze a bit of the top and a bit of the side and that's what this freeze panes button does You'll note that it says based on current selections. You need to pay attention to what you clicked on first before you click on this button. And it will actually, for example, if I click on this cell, the cell I click on before I click on that freeze panes button will be the first cell that is movable. And the rest of it above and the rest of it to the left will be frozen and it will remain in place wherever you are scrolling around. Let's see what that looks like. So I've clicked in the cell I wanted to not freeze and then I click on the freeze panes. And you can see a line has turned up just here. There's another one that's gone across just here above. It's less obvious because of the formatting. But if I scroll down, you can see what it's doing. It's frozen those top four rows, I think, in this case, maybe five. Um, so the years are now visible. But if I go sideways as well, you can see the countries are staying there. So wherever I am, I can see what was going on. For example, I could find that Germany one. There it is. And I can see immediately it was 2012 and there was the German thing. So this is very useful. It's also very easy to arrange, but it's quite important if you're not going to get very lost in your data. Luckily, it's very easy to undo as well. So wherever you are, you can click on freeze panes and there's an unfreeze panes, which uh, guess what? Unfreezes those panes. Very useful, hopefully very easy.